Hi, in this lecture, you will learn how to get the execution plan with using Autotrace facility. In the previous lecture, you learned how to create the explain plan with the explain plan command and SQL developer. However, you know that the explain plan is not the exact execution plan of a query. So it may change when you run the code by the optimizer. Because explain plan is created with the statistics and based on the estimates. However, while executing the code, it may find out that that plan is not so good at some point. So it changed the plan based on the new information. I don't want to go deeper not to confuse you. Just know that the explain plan may change when you run the code. So how can we find the exact execution plan? Of course by running it. And after running a code you can check it from the shared SQL area. However, we have another way to do it. It is by using Autotrace. When we enable the Autotrace feature, Oracle Server traces our query and produces the execution plan and the statistics. Autotrace can trace our query with different aspects. We have different uses of Autotrace syntax. The first one is set Autotrace on. If we use it with on, it will trace everything rows, explain plan, statistics, etc. However, you can use the explain or statistics keywords to specify if it will return the explain plan or statistics. If you write set auto trace on explain, it will return the rows and the explain plan. If you write set auto trace on statistics, it will return the rows and the statistics. The next usage is using with trace only option. After the auto trace, you can write trace or trace only. They are the same. If you write set auto trace trace only, it will get only the explain plan and the statistics. It will not show you the rows. If you are not interested in rows, you can write trace or trace only option. Furthermore, trace option also has two more options. By writing explain or statistics keywords, you can specify if it will return only the statistics or only the explain plan. If you finished your job, you should close the order trace. To close the order trace, you simply write set order trace off. Great! We know that to order trace a code, we need to run a code. Besides, we need to have a plan table for it. So, when we run a code by order tracing it, it writes the explain plan to the plan table. However, there is one important thing here. Even if it runs the statement to trace it, sometimes it will not have the exact execution plan if you use the bind variables in your code that needs to perform an implicit type conversion of dates. So, even if it is much more reliable than the explain plan command, if you used bind variables, it might not have the exact execution plan. I said might because even if you run the explain plan command or auto trace, you may have the exact execution plan too. If the estimates are true, it will mostly get the exact execution plan. But sometimes it may not. Another cons for the auto trace against the explain plan command is you need to run the code. So if you need to check the explain plan of a DML code, you need to run it also. So you will insert, update or delete something. And sometimes it might have some side effects like unnecessary logging, locking some rows, etc. So if you could tune your code with the explain plan command, I highly suggest you to do like that. If you cannot succeed in this way, then you can use the auto trace method. But if you want to examine the select queries, you can use both. No problem on that. Perfect. Now it's time to see them on the examples. So let's open up the SQL Plus and make our examples. This time, let's connect with the SH user. So let's simply write SH and press Enter. Our password is SH2. Great. We have connected. Let's first start with the trace only explain command.
As you can see, we simply typed set auto trace trace only explain and run it. It did not write anything back. If no errors returned, that means it has succeeded. When we run that code, now the server traces our code and writes the explain plan into the plan table. Now let's run a simple code and see what happens. As you can see, it printed the execution plan directly, but not in a good format, because SQL Plus does not have enough line size for this by default. So let's simply increase it and run again. Great, now let's run our code again. Perfect. Now we can see the explain plan better. As you can see, autotrace returned the explain plan. Now let's change our autotrace option with the statistics and run the same code again. Now let's run our code again. As you can see, here are the statistics for our query. You will see the statistics throughout the course in time. Now, let's simply write set auto trace trace only. Great, now let's run our code again. As you can see, if we write trace only without statistics or explain options, it returns both explain plan and the statistics of our code. The last usage is using set auto trace on. Let's simply type and run it. Now let's run our code again. As you can see, this time it returned the statistics with the explain plan and the rows together. Great, now you know how to use autotrace well. However, we could do that with an easier way by using the autotrace option of SQL Developer. Now let's see it too. So let's open up the SQL Developer. On the right side of the explain plan button, we have the autotrace button. But it may change based on the SQL Developer version. However, the icon will be like that one, the one which has a green arrow. So let's simply select our query and run that button. As you can see, it showed us both the explain plan and the statistics. This explain plan is the same as the one we did before in the SQL Plus. Below the explain plan, we have the statistics. As you can see, it gets the statistics from $stat name and $myStat views. These views have a lot of statistics, but SQL Developer shows only the ones which have values in it. If you wish, you can change this from the tools. However, SQL Plus shows different statistics than this one. But before checking it, let me show you how to change the columns to be seen in the explain plan and the auto trace options in SQL Developer. And then click on the preferences, then click on the database option, and then click on the auto trace and explain plan option here. As you can see, here we can change the options to be seen in the auto trace and explain plan outputs. Yours might be different from mine. So you can check the ones that you want to see and see them in the explain plan or auto trace output. And here it shows the $MyStat option as checked. If you uncheck this option, you will not be able to see the statistics. And below it, there is an option saying skip zero valued statistics. 
If you uncheck this one, SQL Developer will show all the statistics whether it is zero or not. So I recommend you to keep this as checked. Then you can click OK. You will see the difference when you do that. Great. Now let's turn back to the SQL Plus and see the statistics. As you can see, there are 11 statistics here, and some of them are zero. SQL Plus shows only the most important statistics, whether they are zero or not. You will see the important statistics throughout the course, so no need to confuse you for now. But let me show you two more things before finishing that lecture. If you want to see the status of the auto trace, you can simply write show auto trace. Let me show you now. As you can see, it returned that our auto trace is on explain statistics mode. If you write set auto trace on, it will mean on explain statistics. They are the same. The other thing is, when you are done with the auto trace, you need to close auto trace option. So let's close our auto trace tool now. As you can see, we simply write set auto trace off and run it. If you do not see any message, it means you have closed the auto trace. I highly recommend you to close it because it is also a burden to the database. Besides, it will write all the executed queries into the plan table. So in time, it will be harder to find your query in the plan table. Great. In this lecture, you saw how to use auto trace tool both by using SQL Plus and SQL Developer. We will mostly use SQL Developer in our course since it is a much easier way. So if you could not tune your code by generating the explain plan, you can use the auto trace method. If you are tracing the DML operations, I recommend you to use the explain plan command first. But if you need, you can use auto trace too. But to do that, you need to be sure that this does not have any side effects. Alright, this is the end of this lecture. See you in the next lectures.